hey guys so in the last video we we started with binary search we 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 said that binary search is one such efficient searching algorithm which can be used to search in a search space for an item faster right and then we tried to answer some questions about it we said that when can you apply binary search there we said that you can apply binary search on a search space if you are able to come up with some ordering of the search space such that you can define a predicate which reduces the search space to a series of f's followed by a series of t's that's when you can apply binary search and if you can now apply binary search what what all can you find using that predicate on the search space with that ordering you can find the last f or the first t that's basically all that we have uh, understood so far today in this video we want to take a couple of examples to drive home these two points so so let's take the first example let's say you are given an array of sorted numbers <clears throat> so you are given some numbers which are sorted an array of sorted numbers and you are given some key k you have to find out the first occurrence of k in ar so the first occurrence of k in the array so for instance uh, let's say the array that you are given is let's say 2 5 9 9 9 11 11 13 13 let's say and let's say your key k is 9 so you have to find out the index of the first time 9 occurs in the array which is this index so th this is index number 2 so that's basically what you are expected to return now so we want to solve this question using binary search so in order to solve this question using binary search what are the things that we need to keep in mind we will have to come up with some ordering of the search space or ordering of the elements of the search space and then define a predicate and we know the conditions for that so let's let's try to think about this problem we want our solution is the first time nine occurs or the key occurs in that array so <coughs> So one way to think about this is that whatever be the ordering of this array, the predicate that I define should change signs here, right? It should, you should have F's here and then T's here. Then only you know that the first T is your answer. Right. Let's take a step back and think about the thought process. What did I say? I just told you that we want to solve this using binary search. So subconsciously, I know that I want this index 2 to be the last F or the first T. Right. So I want this to be the last F or the first T. Then only I will be able to search it using binary search. So that basically brings me to this point that the predicate that I define should either be of this type, which is f f for 2 and 5 and then proves starting from 9 or it should be, it should have an f here, the last f here, which is of this type. Right? These are the two possibilities, right? Let me write it down for clarity. So let's say this is. 13 13 so these are this is your array you only have two ways you want this to be the last f or the first t so if it is the first t this is how your predicate should look like if it is the last f then this is how your predicate should look like 
Now notice that this configuration is not possible ever. Why is this not possible? Because you know that this is also a 9 and this is also a 9. So it cannot be that the predicate evaluates to false for one 9 and true for another. Right? So this configuration is not possible. The only configuration that is possible is this, wherein you have the first t as the first occurrence of that key in the array. So that's that's something to keep in mind. Now, with that in mind, let's try to think about about the ordering and the and the uh, predicate. If I keep the same ordering, which is the sorted ordering, I can easily define some predicate which has starts becoming true from index 2. What, what could be that? Very simply it is nothing but is x greater equals k. Right? Where k is the key that you are given. If you take this predicate, it is very easy to see that it is true for everything starting from the first time k occurs and false before it. So, so now I know the solution to this problem. I tell you that the ordering is keep the same ordering. Predicate is x greater equals k and what you need to find is the first t. That's the solution for this question. Let, let's take a, talk about another question. Let's say you are given the same question, but now you have to find the last occurrence of the key instead of the first occurrence. So let's try to think about how we can approach that again let's let's take the same example let's take some example let's say this is the example 2 2 3 3 3 5 5 9 11 13 let's say now first thought initial thoughts i and let's say your key k key is 5 right let's say k is 5 so you are interested in this 5 right which is whatever index you can seventh index right so now the first thoughts are that i want this to be the boundary which means i want the last f to be here or the first t to be here right let's write down both so one configuration that i want is either all f still here and then it starts becoming t here and the other configuration that is possible is I want the first t to be here. So all f's until this and then I start having t's from here. So t, 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 t. Now using a similar line of argument, you can see that this configuration is not possible because for this 5 if it is true, the, for this 5 also it has to be true, it cannot be false. And same for this 5 also, same for this 5. For the same x, px is always the same, right? It's a deterministic function. So, so this configuration is definitely not possible. <laughs> and the only configuration that we are left with is this. So we want to come up with some predicate which can give us this configuration. Now, based on this, this initial thought, let's try to answer these two questions. You know, it is not very tough to, to come up with some predicate which changes sign after 5, knowing that the array is sorted, right? You can simply take px is, is x greater than k. If you take this, then it will be two, true for 9, 11, 13 and false for everything here. And you keep the same ordering, right? So the ordering remains the same as the question and the predicate is this and you are interested in the last step. So that's the solution to this problem. Right? In the next video, we will look at the actual code for finding this last step or this first t, assuming you have an ordering and a predicate. So we'll see the code for that and then we will start solving problems.